back. So now that we have uh, some kind of navigation draw right here, let's actually start adding a couple of links instead of just showing uh, this text right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our code, we're going to find the nav bar, and I'm just going to use list for this. So inside, instead of saying side nav content right here, what I want to do is actually I want to add a nav list inside the side nav. Now it doesn't know about the nav list, you know what to do, of course, we need to go into the public module and add the mat nav list right here, module O. It's actually called mat uh, list module, isn't it? There it is. Let's try that one. Um, we'll save it and now it should actually be able to see that that mat uh, list right here. And I just added a mat list item right here um, with a routing and the main route is going to be There we go. The main route is actually going to be uh, for the root of our project, which is going to be home. So let's just put in home right here. And uh, it's going to be for the welcome page. And it just pretty much says go to welcome page. Now this is of course an icon like we showed earlier. So that shouldn't be anything new. And uh, the final thing I'll do when I click this, I go to the link, but I also close down the nav bar, which is possible because I have this reference right here. Let's add another one because I also want to be able to go to the products page. Pretty much the same idea, I'll say products like this. That's where I want to go. I'll close the side nav again. Um, instead of this one, we'll have to find another icon probably. Let's put in products right here and go to products. There we go. This is just the subtext and I don't want the same avatar. So let's try and check out what other icons we have, going back right here to our icons page. Mm, maybe some kind of, uh, not a shopping cart, I want, I don't know, a store, I want that one. The store, that looks like something that I can see all my products in. I'm going to put that in here, store. There we go, let's try and see if everything is running as we expect. Go back to the headdress salon, open this up. Oh, man, that's, that's some huge icons right there and they don't seem to, to be working. It says H and S. Not quite what I expected. It should actually say say store and home. Let's put in lowercase instead of uppercase. See what happens. See if that actually helped. There we go. Now we have the two the two icons, but we still need a bit of a bit of space right here. We already have the styling running, so it's just putting in a bit more space right here. Let's say 15 like this, and let's see how it looks. And there we go. Now we can see it. That looks fine. Let's just zoom a bit again. Blah, 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 blah. There we go, and it still looks perfectly fine. So now we can go to the two pages and you can see when I press one or the other, you two, your products work and the other one is the welcome to uh, go to the welcome page. That's it. We now have a fully running uh, side nav right here that can be shown and hidden. Let's just end it there and, uh, and next step is actually going back to some of the work that Trina asked me to go and do. So let's just add some time here. I spent a bit more time uh, like at least an, uh, 20 minutes or something like that. So let's put that over here. And now we also added the button. So I kind of forgot to update my scrum chart. You know that happens. You shouldn't ever, ever, ever do that. But anyway, it happens now and then. So I fixed it. Now we can go back to actually starting to show the products in some kind of layout uh, in the next couple of videos. So that's it for this, this lesson. Next lesson, I'm actually going to deploy this. So see you then. Bye-bye.